What we do know is that forms of magnetic therapy have been around for thousands of years. Dr. Jack Berger runs the pain clinic at the University of Southern California's medical center. It uh, is interesting and uh, provocative and I think deserves further study. What happened? About five, ten minutes later, I was basically pain-free. Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. Holcomb says after a few months with the swelling gone, Adam's disc slipped back into place. Two years later, he's once again a normal, sprouting teenager, pain-free, full of life. Are you sure that it wasn't just, you know, once he knew he was getting some sort of treatment, he felt better? He had been administered a lot of treatments, including uh, an appendectomy. If, uh, if it was a placebo effect, maybe the appendectomy should have cured him before I got him. Holcomb says his continuing experiments have shown the pain-blocking mechanism in the magnets can be at least as effective as a shot of morphine. These days, Adam has a new nickname. They'll start calling me, hey, magnet boy. His mom has a new cure-all, not just for muscle pain, but sinus headaches and all her son's bumps and bruises. Recent research out of Baylor College of Medicine found some of those who may be helped by magnets are former polio patients. Many now suffering from symptoms years after recovery say the treatment seems to offer relief from pain. Live at 5 continues with our health check report using magnets to help get rid of pain. Christy Myers joining us now with the details. Christy? Melanie, using magnets to relieve pain has been controversial for years, despite the claims of some golfers and other sports personalities. But now in a first-of-its-kind study just published this month, some Houstonians are helping resolve that debate over magnets as an alternative to painkillers. If I start to hurt, I put on a magnet. Juana Williams has been wearing magnets to fight pain since she first tried them nine months ago. And I felt a tingling sensation, a little bit of warmth. And within 15 minutes, I said, Dr. Valbona, I'm not hurting anymore. The magnets help her with the severe pain of post-polio. She says wearing them for 45 minutes can relieve pain for days. They're not harmful. They have helped me. And if I can live a more normal, restful life using the magnets, I'm all for it. The idea of whether magnets really do work against pain has long been controversial up until this medical study at Tier by Baylor College of Medicine. I was skeptic as anybody else, and uh, I think we have provided scientific evidence through a double-blind control study. Dr. Valbona's study found that 76% of post-polio patients who wore an active magnet increase in pain. A good many of them, it dropped from high to zero. The first one he put on me, I did feel warmth in my arm. Today was Jess Summer's first time to test the magnets. I was glad to try it because uh, everything else that you try has side effects. After 45 minutes, he says he could turn his neck without pain. It made a radical amount of difference. Yes, ma'am. He handed the magnet to his wife to see if it would help her neck injury from a car wreck. Uh, I have been wearing it for about uh, 25 minutes, I think. And how has it worked? I think it feels better. Baylor researchers aren't sure how it works, but they have theories. We feel that the magnetic field produces some changes, not unlike the changes that drugs produce on these, what we call, pain receptors. What's everyone attracted to? Magnets. That doesn't hurt. At Baylor College of Medicine, Dr. Carlos Valbona put magnet therapy to the test on 50 patients who had polio when they were kids and still suffer excruciating pain. Within five minutes, I could tell that I was feeling so much better. It's the first real scientific study of magnet therapy, and the results are astounding. 76% of the patients said they felt less pain after just one treatment. Here again is Bryant Gumbel. There's an ancient therapy that uses magnet for aches and pains. News to Houston Health Beat reporter Sylvia Castaneda joins us now to explain. Very interesting. It All is right. very interesting, and it is called magnet therapy, and it's been around for about 2,000 years. It's a popular treatment used in countries like China, France, and Germany. Plus, it's starting to draw interest right here in the U.S. I couldn't do anything. 
I couldn't stretch, I couldn't run, I couldn't work out. To look at Chris Weiss today, you'd never suspect that just a few months ago she could barely walk. I was in pain constantly. The way that I tore my hamstring, it was so severe that my hamstring was ripped off the bone. Chris refused to take traditional painkillers. Instead, she turned to a special kind of a magnet. Sending out a magnetic field which increases the blood flow to the part by as much as 300 percent in 20 minutes magnets throw off an electromagnetic field called gauss which we all have in our bodies the gauss from the magnets penetrates deep into the body tissue to reduce pain magnet therapy is most commonly used to treat arthritis migraine headaches carpal tunnel syndrome back pain and muscle spasms Baylor College of Medicine researchers are in the middle of their own study to see how magnet therapy may help post-polio patients. So far, about 50% of those in the study say they've experienced pain relief anywhere from two hours to as long as two weeks. So we asked News Channel 11's investigative reporter Frank Recchia to find out if all the claims surrounding magnets are really true and if they really stick, Frank. Well, Jeff, without the FDA saying whether or not magnets heal, that question is really best left up to the consumer. What we did find out for sure is that people right here in Lubbock are spending tens of thousands of dollars for a magnetic charge they say you cannot put a price on. So when you sleep on this mattress pad, you end up feeling very good in the morning. Feel better than I've ever felt. Inside the mattress pad are magnets. That's right, magnets. And they're attracting more media attention than ever before. More and more people are swearing that small magnets can help relieve intense pain. And right now, sir, you're actually wearing magnets in your shoes, right? I wear them all the time. Before the magnets, Barney Stagner was taking narcotic painkillers every four hours for chronic back pain. Relieve the pain if that's where you've got it. But after using these funny little devices... I've not had to take as much as an aspirin for pain. Ruby Stagner says they work just as well on her. I think they're the most wonderful thing that ever came out. Professional athletes like Dan Marino and Jim Colbert say you cannot put a price on natural pain relief. I can bend over, practice button, and still be able to walk. That's a magnet tester. And at least according to one theory... When you draw more blood and oxygen to, the, to that particular area, you have less swelling, less irritation. It works. But it's only a theory, and magnet therapy has not been approved by the Food and Drug Administration, which is why some doctors are calling for clinical trials using placebo or double-blind testing. Studies need to be done to sort of really have a controlled, you know, placebo-controlled study. The absence of FDA approval is what Dr. Clifton Jolly flew from Dallas to Lubbock to talk with us about. He is the consulting director of media relations for the Japanese health and wellness firm Nikan, which makes magnets here in the USA. It manufactures an unarguably superior product. But the magnetic products of Nikan are marketed as rest and relaxation products products for which no medical claims are made. Nikan in the United States does not make any explicit claims about the relief of pain. That's exactly right. All the same, Nikan leads the pack, showing that claims of rest and relaxation are all it takes to sell magnets. It may seem uh, curious here in the United States where uh, products of this kind uh, are eccentric. They're a little out of the ordinary. But if you were to go to the Far East, you would find that uh, uh, these, these products don't even raise an eyebrow. The attraction is magnets. This is the only thing that has stopped the pain. The Mag Boy. And with over $200 million in annual North American sales, Nikan is clearly showing that while Eastern and Western ways may differ, opposites still attract. And Nikan, by the way, does not sell its products on store shelves, but rather through dozens of home-based distributors right here in Lubbock. But no matter where a person buys magnets, doctors tell News Channel 11 that nobody with a pacemaker should ever use them, and magnets should never be applied to open bleeding. Very interesting. Frank, how long have those people been using those magnets? Well, people have been using them here in the Lubbock area for about 10 years, in fact, all over the United States. In Japan and the Far East, they've been using them for centuries, believe it or not, oh. but it really is growing in popularity. It's really up to the consumer to decide whether or not it's something that works. All right. Very interesting. Thank you, Frank.